Hi everybody, Yarn Fairy here. I know it's been a while. Uh, this year I have been busy making masks and sewing aprons and I don't know what, but I'm back. I'm here. Hit the bell with the scribe, as piece number one is not to say. I have something to share. Something pretty amazing. I uh, posted this on our Yarn Fairy um, fairy floss page on Facebook and it wasn't even a good picture and one of my friends said I want it and I just love it I love it so much that as soon as I got it in I, I asked her can I open it can I do an unboxing this is a Russian kit made by Riolis which I guess is related to Zwigart or has Swigart fabric in it. I don't know what the deal is. It's printed in Russian and English and French and I don't know what all. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love this thing. So they give you a 14 count made up, just plain white, because the background is nice and white. And <coughs> the chart and the instructions are really well done. You can see they do it in the colors. And there's even specialty stitches. I didn't know what I was getting in until I got it in. And it's, I'm really pleased with this kit. It's beautiful, well written. This is for a 16 inch pillow. And the threads, and they are threads, are beautiful. Look at the rainbow of colors they sent. I just love it. And it goes all the way down to the black, all through all the blues. Not all the blues. There could have been turquoise in here, but hey, it's beautiful. It's well thought out. And dude, okay, so check this out. When I say thread, I mean thread. It's like looking really fat up here. But this is like a cobweb weight for all you knitters out there. And I don't do NMs, so I'm not sure what that would equate to, but it's fine. And for the most part, they say that you're to use um, two strands for cross stitch and one strand for the specialty. Gosh, it's so pretty. I need one. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm drooling. Okay, so then they also give you the back, and they give you plenty of it. And I don't know what this is. It's soft. It looks like microfiber for like a couch, I think, but it's softer than that. So I don't know what this is. Has anybody seen Minky? Is that Minky? I don't know, maybe Minky is some weird fun fiber stuff. But anyway, this kit is amazing and I can get it for you. So PM me if you're interested. It's uh, $64, I think. And I'm looking into some Susan, is that the right word? Rosenthal. Um, they have very pretty kits. Uh, they're like 20 by 18 though, so r much bigger pillows. Um, there's this one on black that has like all different leaves and flowers in it, and it's just gorgeous. It though is like over $230, so I wrote to the manufacturer and I said, hey, what's up? Is this silk or what? Maybe it's all wool. This stuff is, um, <coughs> sorry about the voice. This stuff is a wool acrylic blend, which I was thinking would be really nice this fine because the acrylic will give you strength. You need tensile strength to get into this stuff. Whereas the wool might have frayed and fell apart at this weight. You know, one of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna make a kit out of some silks. That would be nice. I have this silk in this weight. It's a uh, 62 cotton. I do know the NL on that one. Or excuse me, silk. I said silk. Eh. Anyway, um, I have a lot of super fine stuff and super fine stuff available to me because we do a lot of um, heirlooms. Once a year, the Yarn Fairy produces an heirloom, which is, you know, heirloom worthy. It's a um, massive shawl. Speaking of shawls, we finished Outlander. We have Floral Delights, Double Trouble, which is amazing. It's got like four different yarns in it. So much fun. There's even a hand spun in there. 
and the Celtic stole, which is also a shrug. It's got amazing Saxon border uh, uh, down the arms, gorgeous thing. And it's done in our gradient. So it's got one color in the back, another color here, and another color here, but they all kind of go together. So it makes a really beautiful thing. Anyway, I'm back. Oh, oh, before I forget. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, I am a full-fledged member over at embroidery.com. Love, they're on Facebook. Love them. Have talked to almost all of them. Um, they're that work there. I buy everything from them. Um, they have, every once in a while, a challenge. This summer, it's called Summer Stitching. And it's only for merit badges. It's not for a gift or anything. You go and you post your before and after of what you did that day. You have to stitch for 30 days. You're on your honor, so don't post if you don't make it. You have five days of grace. You have to stitch from June 1. You got two days of grace already. Um, to June 31, I think there is in this month. And 30, day, 30 minutes a day. I think that's everything. Oh, and you go to the embroidery.com Facebook page and you post uh, hashtag summer stitching. And then it all goes into one place. I do all of theirs. This was one of the prizes. It says witchy stitchy. And then I've got one coming in the mail for I Love to Stitch. And then the very first one they ever did, they gave us amazing, like 300 of them they had to make. Um, a frame, an easy stitch frame, but just a six inch bar, but, and a little, but still a frame. They had to hire students from the local high school to sit there and cut wood and drill holes. <laughs> and it's got embroidery.com um, burned onto the side. I just love that place. Anyway. I am stitching. So the next video out of me is going to be my Harry Potter um, Choose Your Own Adventure from Cutting Cross Stitch. I am getting stuff done. It's so nice ever since. Okay, that's why I haven't been recording. I haven't had anything to share. <laughs> so bad. I started out. Um, okay, so I was in the I Love to Stitch, which ended February 31st, 29th, 29th. And I hadn't stitched a single stitch since then until I got set up. Can you see it? Over there we have the embroidery.com floor frame and my lamp and all my goodies. I still need like trays and stuff and a cup holder because I'm knocking over my Yeti and I'm like, ah, towel. <laughs> and then I need like a long tray to go up at the top that I can set my junk in. I need a pen and scissors and the marker pen and the skeins that I'm currently using and a toothbrush for when I have to go around and do the nasty. Yeah, so if anybody knows where I can get just a little, it has to have edges, you know, just a little wood tray, a plastic tray, a tin tray, I don't care what kind of tray, so long as it will hold all my junk in one place, that would be great, and it just has to have holes where I can drill holes. I don't care, I just need a trip. I found um, a car cup holder that has one of these numbers, and you stick it over your window, but the frame. It should work perfectly for the frame. I bought one in small and one in large because I think this might be a large, but then it might not be in today's modern world of big is best. Okay, that's all. I hope you're doing well and having fun and not going crazy like I have been the last few months. Um, do tell me what you're doing. Yarn Fairy 1 at gmail.com. Look forward to hearing from you.